the next question from Furkan from Delhi, India. What will happen to good non-Muslims? We have seen some very good-hearted journalists like Ravish Kumar, etc., who speak the truth, take sides of Muslims and show the ugly truth of the oppressors. It is not just him, there are many others from different professions who are like him. So what will Allah do to them if they don't die as Muslims, as they don't deserve equal punishment like other big wrongdoers? In brackets, you know their names. The question is asking that non-Muslims are of different types. Some are good non-Muslims, some are very bad, some are extremely bad. So will all of them get the same punishment? And the answer is no. How we have in Jannah, different levels of Jannah. There is Jannah the Firdos, then the Firdos al Allah. In the garden, there is a garden. So all those who go to Jannah will not be on the same level. The Muslims that will go to Jannah would be different as compared to the Ambiyas. The Ambiyas are the best, they are the highest, the messengers. And Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the highest. Then you'll have the Khulfarashidin, you have the Sahabat. Of course, we will not be on the same level as the messengers, as the Sahabat, as the Khulfarashidin. And we pray to Allah that maybe we go to Jannah. So that there are levels in Jannah, there are also levels in the hell. And those of the non-Muslims who do good deeds, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that they will get the reward in this world itself. Someone has done a good deed, he will get a reward, maybe he'll get wealth, maybe he'll get fame. So all non-Muslims who do good deeds, but they are committing the major sin of shirk. As I mentioned in my earlier answer, if they do the major sin of shirk, that is the associate partners with God, then they get negative points. They will not be able to enter Jannah. As Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse number 48, and Surah Nisa chapter number 4, verse number 116, that Allah, if He wishes, may forgive anything. But the sin of shirk, He'll never forgive. So anyone dies as a mushrik without repenting, then Allah will not forgive him. So all the other good deeds that He has done, which are of lesser value, as I mentioned in my earlier answer, Allah will reward them in this world itself. And in the Akhirah, in the next life, but natural, in the Jahannam, in the hell, there are different levels. Some are the lowest level of Jahannam, which will be the Munafikeen and those which are wrongdoers like Pharaoh and Hitler and maybe into brackets who you mentioned, we know who you're talking about. They will be there, inshallah. But always there is a possibility that even those people who are non-Muslims and maybe against Islam, there are chances that Allah may give them hidayah. What I do, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give hidayah to these good non-Muslims so that they come to the fold of Islam. And we never know. We know that every day there are thousands of non-Muslims throughout the world accepting Islam. And when they accept Islam, many of them, they become better practicing Muslims than those who are born in a Muslim family. So Alhamdulillah, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give hidayah to these people so that inshallah they can go to Jannah inshallah. And we pray that these people who are fighting for the truth, but irrespective whether they get there or not, in this world Allah will reward them so that they cannot object that where has the reward gone for the good actions they have done. Hope that answers the question.